Oh my god, that is gonna kill me. And I just died. Oh my god, that is gonna kill me. And I just died. Okay, so here we are. Um, last episode, I fell to my death, and I'm pretty sure this is where I fell from. Um, I respawned at the base. I made me some tethers, which I used some to get around here. Grab me a couple more. Um, also made me a canister so I can build down to it. And uh, let's let's just let's just see if we can if we can do this. So uh, let's just see if we can make us a ramp down there so I can get all my stuff off my pack, and we can kind of explore what's down there. So let's just keep keep building this ramp down. There's plenty around me if I need to uh, refill my canister like this. So not too steep, but this is a heck of a drop. That's probably why, because it feels, I think I, I fell once and then I hit something and then I fell again. Uh, and I need to drop some tethers because um, let me drop another one up here, because I'm pretty far off tether. I am pretty far off tether. Can I bring this down any further? Actually, I can. Yep, right there. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure this is where I fell. Uh, and this is pretty deep into this cave. So, I'm actually going to clear this out, and I'm going to come back down on this other side. It looks like I can... Here. See, like that's like, like another drop down from uh, another another angle. Yeah, pretty sure it fell from somewhere. Going this way, so we're gonna we're gonna cut back this way now. Drop us another tether line. We'll come back this way, and I just yep. See, there's my dead body. And look fell right into some uh some aluminum where are you in my way so yeah uh guess that's good make me uh oh you know what i need josh you know what you need duke forgot tethers so let's drop us a tether right here that's one good one good thing about switching back like that your tethers kind of go more straight down than down at an angle and so you can actually kind of, uh, you can go a little further on them. So there's my pack. Let's go ahead and take all this stuff off there. All right, and so we've got this extra uh, oxygen canister here. So if we got over here, oh. See a bunch more quartz, I see a bunch more aluminum, but I'm not seeing really any other resources down here. I'm seeing a resource rock that I can then put over here. I'm seeing another resource rock I can put right here. I call them resource rocks, I know that's, they're resource minerals, I believe. Um, but hey, a rock is a mineral, not a vegetable. So let's go ahead and gather some of this aluminum. Um, now that I've got my stuff back, I can go dump uh, some of this other stuff off me. I got three full canisters. I can make some more. I did have to grab some more compound. I wasn't sure how far down this was going to be. 
but yeah, that was a fun ending, wasn't it? Watching me die. I mean, that's always fun, <laughs> right? Why, what? <laughs> that's always a great way to end a uh, end an episode is to to die. But no, it's a good lesson. Um, you really got to be careful. And I was just, I wasn't, I was being um, just kind of uh, excited. You know, I, I found this new canister. I found this backpack, found some stuff. So <clears throat> just running around. I wasn't being careful. I was being a little bit reckless. Um, oh, look at that. We got another. Yeah. Research rocks for days. Looks like another case. So you do, you can eventually get further and further down. Drop us another one of those. I'll do, I just see more quartz and more aluminum. Let's take this out. Let's see what we see here. Alright, so over there I see more quartz, more aluminum. I'm gonna do some searching around. Hopefully I won't die again. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do some quick Quit looking around and just see what else I see. Okay, so I did some quick searching around. You can see some quartz and aluminum over there. There's some more aluminum over there. That's really what I'm finding, but this place is really full of holes. Uh, there is a res uh, research capsule pod over there. And uh, you know what? Please don't, please don't fall. The giant green pepper wants to fall. So we might do a quick little scavenge over there. I'm gonna... Just join these two real quick, like that. All right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna go check that out real quick. Let's see what's over there. We're gonna be careful. I see. It looks like two of them over here. So and look, we found some um, resin. So this is a. This says maintain the desired power. Remember earlier I was talking about you might want to build. There's another one over there. You might want to build generators. Um, for various reasons, that's one of the reasons you might want to build a generator down in this area. Is to power those things to pop open because they will have, uh, as soon as we get a chance, we'll open one. Uh, they will have research pieces in them and they can be very beneficial. They're usually worth quite a bit of, uh, of bites. But we're going to go ahead and head back up. We're going to dump some of the stuff off because we are full. All right, as you see, um, because we have the three canisters, because we were able to get our backpack back, and I'm going to dump the uh, laterite that I have on me and some of this other stuff to just uh, dump it so I don't have so much on me, and come down here, and if I just go ahead and, and gather, come back and gather, uh, and that's kind of boring. So I am going to dump some stuff off and uh, do a little bit of grind and get some of the quartz that we're going to need and some more of the aluminum and then uh, I will be back. Hey everybody, a uh, little bit of a recording snafu. I thought we were recording, we were not, but I did do a lot of gathering um, and I got a bunch more quartz and I got some aluminum and some resin and stuff. And after that, I did something that I promised you we were gonna do a couple episodes ago before I died and we didn't get around to it, I was able to get everything back and that was to make the tractor. Now, I have already gone in here and I have researched the tractor and the trailer. It was a total of 2,500 bytes, but you see we are still cranking right along, making more bytes because we are gonna need, I think, two, 1,500, 2,000, because we need 500 for the solid fuel thruster and we need Uh, 1500 so it's gonna be 2,000 total for the small shuttle so we can get to the moon we're trying to still trying to get there I we have it to get there but we're not quite ready for some of the other stuff we're gonna want to take with us but I did make the tractor and the trailer which you didn't have to sit there and watch the boring part of them printing so this is the way that we have the tractor set up jump in here and I'm gonna pull it around and I'm gonna show you some of the things that we have on the tractor and kind of the way that this thing works 
So you make it in the small printer and so right here you just go to the small printer. You have the tractor which is two aluminum and then the trailer which is one aluminum and one compound and they hook together. So I brought them over here and uh, unpacked them, hooked them together. I also made two of these medium storage which you can see they actually come like this you hit f or whatever it is i think it's y on xbox not sure on ps4 uh it expands it and you can put one on the front that's why it looks so funny it has the slot you can either now if you don't want to have all this right there on the front um you can take these one of these small generators and stick it on the front here and I actually was uh, driving this around. Like I said, I thought we were recording. We were not recording. Why is this not wanting to flip for me? There we go. I like it up and down like that. So uh, I thought it was recording. It was not recording. But we did a little searching. Um, I dropped the beacon out there. We found some more resin. We found some more compound out there. We also found one of those capsules. So we're going to show you... Uh, gonna go back and um, there's another one out there see if we can't get it to open that's actually what's being researched right now is one of those uh, small research capsules we did make the two printers so we're gonna take those with us um, we're actually gonna take this off we're gonna oh, we're gonna put that there we're gonna put this back on here no I think that was the right way so we are going to put the battery back up here like this. We're going to drop off. We did find some ammonium. We found a little bit of stuff out there. Nothing much, but we're going to take a ride on our little green tractor. So let's put this print, uh, this keep one of calling printers. We're going to put the generators back on here to help power this. We're going to take this resin. Let's go drop. Let's add a couple of these organics so that we have some fuel for our generators. And we're going to take a ride on our little green tractor. Okay, so we've kind of swung back around. You can see where our tethers ended that one time. Kind of see the base off in the trees. There's the uh, the beacon that we left. So let's head this way. Uh, we'll keep the mountain right there on our right. Sometimes there's some good stuff up near the mountains. And oh my goodness, here is something that I was talking about earlier that we could definitely use. This is clay. Now, remember earlier I was talking about how we need to add the drill mod right here. Um, the drill mod one it needs a ceramic. It's a thousand bytes Ceramic is made from clay And so we're definitely gonna have to harvest some of this clay here because we need clay in order to make that drill mod So that we can drill through some of the harder materials like on the mountains and in the caves and stuff um, quite a bit easier and then once we get to some of the other uh, planets we can get some more resources some better resources we can actually build a little bit better of a drill mod so we're going to harvest this real quick and then we're going to move on and see what else we can't come across Okay, so I went ahead and burned a thousand of our bytes to unlock the drill mod, and there was a, a couple reasons. Um, because one, it, it would just be nice to have, um, but that's, I mean, honestly, that's, that's the main reason. But I want to be able to go ahead and get this going as soon as I get back. Um, I'm going to have to smelt some of this into the ceramic that's needed, uh, and it will actually make it down here. And I wanted to show you that so we can kind of filter through all this stuff there's the beacon there's the work light the drill mod one you see we actually need the ceramic produced by smelting furnace available on any planet so clay is the ceramic material so what we got i think i've got room for uh one more bit of clay here so let's go ahead and gather that real quick you see i made there it is quite a hole here actually made me a little ramp going down so easily find the base uh, I had to drop one of my organics to make sure I had room again a little more important than the organic so we're gonna go back to the base and we are going to make some ceramic okay so we've made it back to the base 
and we've got our trailer for I'm just gonna pull the storage off of this um, so we can go ahead and get the stuff smelted and we'll start making a, uh, a pile of it oh did this get on oh you know what this did get untethered this might be too <laughs> Well, this might be too close. I might have to move this over just a hair this way, so I can get both of these tethers, both of these cables to to click in, because there's no power going to the rest of this base. Okay, there we go. Now there's power going to it. Now it's smelting. Now it's doing what we want it to do. So let's go ahead and load this thing up. It'll start smelting us some ceramic. We can make that drill mod, and once I get it made, I'll kind of show you. Uh, what it's good for, what it's not great for, all that good stuff. I'm going to throw this battery pack right here so that, and I am, uh, let me grab an organic. So that I can go ahead and feed this thing a little better. There we go. We'll feed us a little more power. And I need to get some more research stuff going. Um, you see I'm down to 3,400. So, so now we've got our, we got our ceramic. We can go ahead and do our drill mod one. So let's go ahead and do that. And I will show you kind of what it does, how it works, all that good stuff. So you see it sticks it up, just sticks it on the backpack. So we're gonna pull out our gun. You can either click on your gun or just hit E. All right, we'll move that over there so it can smelt. It needs to go on the gun itself. All right, and whatever mod you have in the top section is gonna be the primary mod because some of these mods you can actually stack. Now, do I need it on the like the regular terrain here? No, uh, I don't know that you'll see any actual benefit to it at all using it in that manner. Does that mean that you shouldn't keep it with you? No, because once you come across, like um, when we were over here in the gray portion of the mountains, uh, that's actually pretty hard. Doesn't necessarily mean you need to keep it on your gun all the time, but maybe just kind of keep it on your person. Why did that? Oh my goodness. See, this is some of the wonky stuff this stuff does. Right, let's put this over here so we can find us a more permanent home for it. Let's flip this around. Put this on there. I actually have quite a bit on my backpack I can take off here. Because I tried to get as much of this as I could. Um, there are some some things that we'll need it for in the future as well so it's good to just go ahead and have it and I believe I have some on the front of this so I am going to go ahead and let this stuff smelt through and once it gets done and I get it put up uh, then I'll run somewhere and kind of show you how this mod works and we'll keep riding on our tractor okay so we got our ceramic um, we, we, we got our clay and then we took our clay and we got our ceramic and we took one of our ceramic and we made us a mod and so here is the hole that we made you see there's still some clay but we're, we're gonna leave that for now let's keep looking oh here's something fantastic remember when i said we found a great landing spot this is a fan look at this i can still see the base from here okay this is graphite. First time I found it, I'm like, I don't know what this is. I don't know why I need it, whatever. But it is an incredibly useful resource. If it only has a few resources, they're good resources. So let's go ahead and gather this stuff. And we're also gonna show you what the mod right here on the top does, that drill mod one. This will be a good place to do that. You can see how, I'm gonna actually take this off the gun real quick. I'm gonna put it over here where it doesn't, doesn't do it. See? I'm doing okay. I can let me get over here where I can actually gather. Okay, see? Doing fine, gathering. Okay. Actually gathering quite a bit. There's quite a bit of graphite here. But if I come up here, see how it's harder? You can actually hear the difference. Now, let's throw that drill mod on. Just like it's regular. Look how it just it just tears through the ground. Look at that. Like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. Let's get back over here and get some more air. Is it showing me any more? Yep, some more over here. The bad part is, if you notice, 
it actually drains battery power. So I'm actually draining the battery off of this as I'm tethered to it. So let's come over here and let's uh, let's dump some of this so I have plenty of room. It does take up a spot on your gun, so that's one less spot for resources. And it also drains your battery. So um, I actually took my battery. Oh, let me turn this thing on. I'm gonna show you this. Let's turn this on and get this thing charged back up. So we got the generator going. I actually said generator this time. We got the generator going and we are charging that battery up. Uh, again, if I need organic, organic is pretty easy to find, pretty easy to grab to gather, so I can always, you know, get more organic to keep the generators going. So that's one benefit to the generator. The other benefit, or the other, the kind of downside, I guess. I shouldn't say benefit. One of the downsides is the fact that it does have to be fueled. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my backpack right there so you can see it. I'm gonna break tether to that, come back up here, and now you see the little minus on the battery thing right above me? It kind of keeps popping up above me. That means that it's drain. You can actually see the battery starting to go down a little. Now the the bigger the mod, like this is the drill mod one, you go to a drill mod three and it it basically drains it even faster. So not only is it more difficult to make, but it it drains your battery faster. The upside is um, it'll tear through pretty much anything, including the like the asphalt looking stuff that you are um, that asphalt looking stuff that they put the the shuttle the shelter itself is on. It'll eat through that even. All right, so I'm almost full. So, actually I am full. Once again, look at all that graphite on my back. Doesn't that look, oh, look at me, look at me dance around. Doesn't that look beautiful? It's fantastic. Another fantastic episode here on Astroneer. We've got the tractor, we've got the trailer, we've got, let's go over this. We've got ceramic made out of the clay. We've got the quartz, we've got the ammonia, we got the malachite we can turn into copper. We've got plenty of compound going on right now. We've got some organic. We got some laterite we're going to turn into aluminum. We got quite a bit of the resin. Let's check out what we have over here. Oh, yeah, don't forget, we've got some graphite on our back. We now have the research chamber. We did find us the medium solar and the medium wind turbine. We have us the medium and the small printer, the smelter, and the soil centrifuge. I'm kicking resin around. We are, I mean, honestly, um, for the little bit of time that we've been in this game so far, I think we're doing great. Considering all the stuff that we found, we are sitting at 3,400 bytes. So we definitely got to go get another research thing. Got to find some more of those. I know I left some down in the cave I can go get uh, so we can get our research points back up. But dare I say, we will be on the moon on the next episode, or at least headed to the moon. Um, we, will, we will, at the very least, be headed to the moon in the next episode. That is the goal. If we don't land there, we will definitely be taken off in that direction. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, thank you for stopping by, checking us out on Astroneer as we try to get to the moon as quick as possible, and we're almost there.